Okay, so today I'm disassembling and explaining a cache drawer. Uh, it's an ICL9535 made by the Fujitsu Corporation. Uh, this was specifically used in an Epson Smart POS setup. So I'm starting by picking the drawer's lock, which I found to be surprisingly and disturbingly easy. Just as easy as that, about five seconds. The drawer comes out on metal roller bearings and uh, can easily be removed. And now I remove the plastic lining, which is used to hold bills and coins. They come out as well from each other. So here we have the drawer uh, upright and on its side, and you can see there's a cut out of here for a lock, and that'll allow the store owner to really affix the, the drawer to their uh, till to make sure that the theft can't come from the removal of the drawer. Also on the back we see the Ethernet port, which is used for actuating the cache drawer. Okay, here's the bottom of the cash uh, register, and I'm just removing the uh, steel cover that's on it. Now, you can see that there's a small mechanism, fairly simple, and a spring. And the spring is fairly rigid, uh, only attached by one screw. Here's the solenoid, and the mechanism of which that removes the drawer, as well as a switch, and I'll show you this more closely. Uh, the switch is used to detect when the drawer is closed. So I'm going to slide the drawer back in upside down to explain this mechanism a bit better. Uh, so the drawer is pushed in and pressed against the spring which applies outward pressure and then it clips into a rotational mechanism actuated by the solenoid uh, as you can see here and there's the solenoid and the switch and the mechanism and then so the drawer is going to fit and clip in with that on the uh, mechanism there and then lock in and then there's a mechanical way to open this as well as an electronic uh, so I'll get you closer views of that so here's the mechanism I'm going to actuate the solenoid myself with my finger this is what the electronics would be doing when they trigger that and that's going to pull out that lock there and allow that ro rotation of the disc which is clipping the hasp of the drawer in place fairly secure method it, it's very strong Okay, so here's a closer look at the mechanism. As you can see here, it's pretty simple. We have just uh, three really simple components. We have the solenoid, we have the rotational locking mechanism, which works like that, and we have a switch, and that switch is for detecting uh, whether it's on or off. We have the CAT5 connection, that's for interfacing with the device. And uh, yeah, so the switch <coughs> is fairly simple. It'll detect whether or not the drawer is open or closed. If you've ever worked at Starbucks, you'll have experience with machines telling you to close the drawer. They like that for security. Uh, and then just basically simply the, uh, the mechanism rotates like this, and then that pawl is pulled, and that rotates the disc, which releases the drawer and pushes that out on a spring. <coughs> So I wanted to take a closer look at the mechanical side of the mechanism. So here there's a cable running from here all the way along the side and to the back where the key uh, goes and then when you rotate the key it moves like that. So now here's a closer look at the mechanism. So this is going to pull this which is going to pull this, uh, this black piece here and that's going to move the uh, the rotational disc which is going to unlock the drawer as well. As you can see it's also pulling the solenoid when I pull that, so the same action uh, electronic and uh, and mechanical just used both on that lever there. So 
yeah, and here are the parts again. There's a Cat5 connection, uh, and then I have the solenoid and a switch. And this switch again is going to detect when the drawer is closed or open. So now we get into the lock. Uh, I picked it open and we were able to remove the cylinder and I'll show you the pins here. There's three pins and they're more like plates. They don't work off of a stacked system but more of a more of a level inline system. It was very very easy to pick. Um, I mentioned that at the beginning of the video. Disturbingly easy. I actually just picked it with a rake which I'll I'll show you so just a rake and uh, and a tension wrench and um, yeah disturbing amount of security how little there is uh, I yeah I can see the one improvement I would make to this is is uh, as a higher security lock as the uh, the mechanical uh, features of the the, the uh, cash register they seem to be stronger than this. This seems to be the weakest point in the whole thing. So, um, yeah, that's just not the best lock I've ever seen. So, all in all, the design of the cash drawer was extremely simple. It looks like they make, well, I don't know, thousands, hundreds of thousands a year. There's the feet in the spring. We have some folded metal uh, folded sheet metal pieces the lock and just some roller bearings a few types of roller bearings actually we have a, a brass we have the plastic and we also have a metal uh, roller bearing as well all quite high quality parts and uh, the, uh, the the componentry is is actually fairly well thought out so from left to right we have the cash drawer itself the drawer inserts both for for bill type and coin and we have the chassis as well as all the components and the major uh, module which is used for the operating of the drawer. So thank you very much for watching. The last thing I'll say about it is that uh, I think that the drawer is actually quite well designed and very very repairable. The modularity is great and everything's designed to run smoothly for a long time. So thank you very much for watching and uh, I hope you enjoy my films to come.